What's happening guys? I'm going to be doing um, a little quick video on your brakes and changing your brakes out. Um, these are on the little, uh, what I like to call the springy clips when you pull in and out. They're not the, uh, the top hats like these as I call them. So, got a spool um, and it's cracked in the center. So the whole thing is kind of spinning. So got my Stanley screwdriver with a, I think it's a one eight, yeah, it's a one eight head. I already started taking out the screws. There's three screws in there. Um, taking them out. That's the cover plate. If you order it, that's what you're gonna get: the cover plate, screws, the springs, and the actual plastic clips. So that's what it looks like. Um, and like I said, this thing is broke. And there's all my springs and stuff. So I'm going to dump those out. And just take a screwdriver flathead if this one's going to fit. comes off and it's got ridges on there and that's what really keeps the uh, the ring on so I took the old broke on off Sorry. taking this one which is good off squeeze it on down there And there you go, no more turning. Um, probably could Gorilla Glue that one, fix it, but anyway, I have a bad uh, spool, so. Um, so now, I'm gonna take the clips. And this is the tedious part. I wanna try and do it fast, but I don't have the steadiest hands. Another reason to uh, do this too is these things do get, especially if you are a used reel um, and you don't cover them or you don't keep them in the rod locker, they will get uh, grime on them and especially right here on the head and it does tend to uh, affect your, oops, this one's backwards, affect uh, the brakes. So when you're doing a cleaning, this is um, a thorough cleaning. This is one thing that you might want to do is take the brakes apart and um, you know just run them, do the ultrasonic or whatever cleaning method you're using. So that's it. That's them all in there. And then the other tedious part is grabbing these. Really? I'm going to try and do this quick, but I'm no surgeon. stop this video for this part because it's tedious and I think I am but you get the idea the springs go in there like that let me show another one if I can get it it's just grabbing them and putting them in and you can see how they lay so let me pause this okay so and we're back um, so now you've got all the springs in there, all the brakes. Make sure the brakes are pushed all the way back, flush against the back of um, the little ring. And you're going to take your cover plate, side with the dimples. Here's another fun part of lining it up without messing up. And 
and getting the brakes to go. And you're going to have to do it a couple times. I usually do. You got lucky. So you got that on. Get one screw down in there so it won't come off. And these four sets are cheap too. I bought them at a pack at Harbor Free Tool. It's like three or four bucks. They come in handy. It's on there. There it is. And that's changing it out. Slip it back in your reel. Good to go.